sometimes it seems like the the four examples that we're using is not enough to teach it correctly. Let's explore this a bit more. Like, uh, let's generate a bunch more uh, example data. Right. So um, let's actually create. Um, let's make a function out of this. I'm gonna copy this. I'm gonna call it uh, generate points. Make a function there, and then we're gonna use that here. Generate points, and cool. We get like the random points. Still a random set here. Uh, and then when we're true going here, like the training set, instead of like the manually generated things here, I'm going to uh, do random points. Oh, I mean generate random points. Was that the name of it? No. Uh, no, it was just generate points. Uh, generate points. And for each point, whoops, <laughs> we are gonna have point, uh, and then we are going to have the actual team, which is the team that we extract from the point. Uh, Cool, and we're gonna call this const examples. Let's see what that looks like. Return examples. Uh, forgot the prints. Uh, let's uh, let's comment this out for now because it's broken. So these examples are now like uh, two hundred correct points. All right, so let's train the, the AI with um, every example. For uh, const example uh, of examples, train, um, let's uh, move the trained weights up here. Let's call it current weights. And initially, it's going to be with just random weights. And we're going to train it on the current weights. Uh, and we're going to train it on the example point and the example team so that it gets to telling it that this point is going to have this team. And uh, once we're done, we just return the uh, current weights. Wait, there we go. And delete this because it's no longer used. All right, so the network is now kind of, uh, it's kind of off. Um, I would like to actually visualize the training sequence so that we can see what is what is going wrong. Uh, so let's just, um, you know, I just want to pause the rendering for every training point, every time we train a point. And so that we can visualize this as we go. Uh, I need to write a little sleep function first. Uh, somewhere here, uh, let's just write one. Um, like that, I think. Let's go to the uh, train weights here. And for every training, we are going to uh, wait, uh, sleep for, for one second. And we also want to yield this on every uh, loop, every loop. See what that looks like. Oh, hang on. <laughs> I'm not actually reassigning current weights, so that's why the uh, neural network is, is staying still. So yeah, uh, interactivity is really good for debugging. Uh, let's see, like that. Now we should see it jump around a little bit. So every training session here for every training point, you see it uh, jumping around a bit. Uh, 
And after a while it uh, looks like it stabilizes. And there it jumped out completely. Woof! And then it jumped back in. Let's actually uh, make this 10 times faster so that we can see it more. Oh, there we go. And it jump, 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 jump. So our neural network is sort of okay, but you see here like these points here, they are not quite they're not quite as smart as the um as the actual logic so our neural network is kind of smart now uh it still has a little bit of a problem with these uh, these things here uh they're kind of off and i think it's because uh we're adjusting too much for ev uh, on every training session uh it's kind of like uh imagine like a car that whenever it seems that uh, like uh, it's slightly wrong, uh, it adjusts like oh, making huge turns every time. It's kind of like a drunk person like overreacting to every single like oh my god I have to turn right I have to turn left. Uh. A normal person is more like okay I'm getting a little close to the edge I'm adjusting a little bit. Okay I'm still getting closer to the edge uh, I'm adjusting a little bit more. Okay now we're fine. So. Uh, let's add something like that. And in, uh, in neural networks, this is called the learning rate. Um, it's a multiplier. I think we just add it here. Learning rate. We multiply by the learning rate. Learning uh, rate. I'm bad. Like I'm bad at math, like the operator order. I think that actually this, we don't really need the parents. Uh, and the learning rate, um, learning rate. This is just kind of arbitrary, just an adjustment so that like we, how a small adjustment we are. I'm gonna do like 0 0.1, see if that becomes better. Mm. Wait, hang on, like the sleep is still like way too, we need we need a shorter sleep, less than 25 seconds. It's training and it ends up somewhere. Come on. What? That's horribly wrong. Let's comment that out, see where we... And let's remove the yield as well, because at, at this point you're like, it's just being a little bit distracting. Um, by the way, if the yield here and the weight confuse you, um, just you need to watch the uh, async generators uh, episode or the series that is leading up to explaining them. You can find that here, um, uh, the, because these in um, uh, in observable uh, pretty, pretty much everything works as an async generator. So you can think of them as async. This. Oops. I think I can't type. Sorry about that. So written it out, it, it's like this, but um, there's a little bit of syntactic sugar that allows us to just write this, which is super handy. But anyway, our neural network here is, is uh, I don't know if it's actually smarter. Let's um, see if we can adjust the learning rate to perhaps 0 0.2. Is that better? No, no, absolutely not. 0 0.3. 0 0.3 seems to be a good, uh, good learn rate. Or 0 0.4. What? What's nah, 0 0.1. So every time I uh, present here, it generates a new, uh, a new learning set. So it jumps, still jumps around quite a bit. Uh, I'm thinking that perhaps we just need more training points. Uh, let's go to the trained weights and uh, generate point. Hang on, generate points. Yeah, generate points. Let's. Uh, Let's give it a num here and branch and uh, I need to be like 200 random points 
and the train weights. I want, like, this just have a thousand. Like, machine learning tends to need a lot of data to be accurate. Woof. <laughs> that became worse. If the learning rate is 0 0.2, does that improve things? Oh yeah, it actually does. It actually does. It seems like 0 0.1 is like that is too little. That means it jumps around quite a bit. No, on. this. Why did it break before? Say if I if I made the learning rate one instead, would that? Yeah, you see that that means like the data set can. Uh, can jump around quite a bit. Uh, let's see, there, no, no, there. See, like sometimes uh, we get like data that is really, uh, you get perhaps a point that is really, really far off and that skews the, the learning way too much. Like we need to give less credence, less authority to each point. So perhaps go back to 0 0.1 and see if yeah, now we don't see it uh, jumping around as as much, and it. Oh, sorry, shit! It still jumps. <laughs> but perhaps not as often, though. I I imagine like it it it's way less often, maybe. I don't know about the learning rate, really. Uh, perhaps uh, the there are so many examples that the learning rate doesn't really uh, doesn't really matter. But if I go and just have a hundred points, oh yeah, like with a hundred points, it's it's very very jumpy. Seems like it jumps around a lot now. Like like look at this case. Like wow, that's a huge jump. Uh, let's see if I adjust it down to zero point one. And, uh, let's see. Zero point one. See if we can, if we see an equally large deviance. No, I don't think that we can. When we have a lower learning rate, uh, like the skew becomes clearly smaller. Like the we get less crazy, crazy brains. Uh, because with a one you can could see these brains are totally off here, like almost everything was red. But uh, with the learning rate, it becomes s slightly more robust. Uh, let's generate a lot of points, like ten thousand points, and see if what that makes the brain. Okay, you see, like wow, the brain is now way more stable, way more stable. It almost doesn't move at all. And if I have one hundred thousand points. Uh, then the neural network is pretty much perfect. It's a little bit of jumping over here. A little bit of jumping over here. Let's have a million points. Now, that seems to be enough to make the neural networks generate near perfect determination of uh, the points every time. Pretty much. And that is it. We've written our little AI that we can teach things. There's absolutely more things to this and there, we're, gonna, we're going to explore uh, this little AI a lot more, I think. Uh, but this is a good start. The code is linked in the episode description. Uh, and if you have any questions, and boy, you should have because these things are weird. Uh, then please post them down below in the comments or uh, if you are a patron uh, on the Fun Fun Forum, there is a link to the dedicated discussion topic for this episode in the episode description. And you have just watched an episode of Fun Fun Function. I release these every Monday morning, 0800 GMT. You can subscribe here so that you don't miss it or you can just watch another episode right now by clicking here.